Lele, say hi. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, today, I'm going to be investigating uh, an abandoned theme park in Puerto Rico. This park is, again, close to the metro area, but not a lot of people know about it. Especially, not a lot of people know that it's closed because it was... Excuse her French. Because this park was open literally until the corona crisis situation hit Puerto Rico. Then they closed it and now there's really no date on reopening it. What I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to go in. This guys, I swear like I went in once and came right back out like in five minutes. It looks, just imagine Jurassic Park in your head. That's exactly what I'm going to be showing you, but in real life without the dinosaurs. And the only thing that worries me about today is that there's a bunch of cars outside. And last time I was here, it was deserted. So I'll have to be quick in taking my dog and myself inside without anyone seeing me. But yeah, let's just take you along for the ride. I'm going to just make a disclaimer in this video as well. I... Lay. It's early for her. It's a little bit early in the morning. So I go alone to all of these places. It's me, the camera, and Lay. And that's this is my guardian. Like if she sees someone running, walking, talking to me, and she has never seen that person, she will bark and she will make a whole scene. So that's why I'm really not scared of walking alone or just going into random adventures alone because i usually always well i always have her so um that's the only reason why i'm going to this place and to all the places i go without anyone else it's because i have a secure system in place that doesn't matter what happens she's gonna save me <laughs> right baby <laughs> Okay, so with that being said, uh, I'll see you inside or right outside the vicinity of the area, okay? So this is the outside, and as you can see, it's all gated up, and it says in Spanish, it's closed till further notice. And I think you could also see it from this end. We're just gonna walk in. That was easy, wasn't it? Ew, ew, ew. So this is the entrance. I literally just walked by last time. I had to do this whole shit show on that side. First thing I see, I'll just pick up my camera and show you guys. Meanwhile, I'm just gonna jog a little bit towards at least the top of the hill. Okay, so TTY though. Okay, <laughs> this uphill climb is really tough. But um as you can see, like all around my surroundings, it just looks like I'm walking through an empty street, but it's not. Um, it's just like nature is going to take over this place ASAP if no one really kind of takes care of it. But I just made it to the first checkpoint. I'm not even sure how it's called, but just let me show you because it's like this is what brought me back to Jurassic Park times because of this okay so there's like these intact trolleys that I probably think would take you around the whole park when it was open I probably did not live here in Puerto Rico monsoon river um, when this was working but it's just an intact condition so, like I'm so lucky to discover this place right now because the only thing you see in these are spider webs damn that spider web has like 20 spiders can you see that whoa ew and the other best part is this over here which is basically it's just stuck in time here are the bathrooms craziest thing this is exactly where I made it to last time craziest thing of this place is that you have to shut this out it's clearly obviously abandoned but there's water coming out of the sink so that's kind of weird that entrance to the park that's exactly what it says 
So that's this information center. And as you can see, more golf carts all around the area. And look at this um, freaking amazing machine. It's just abandoned right there. And this is the other side. You have these funiculars. I know in Spanish you call them a word similar to funiculars, but it's that thing. Thanks for the great image golf cart. That's right there. And this is an amazing structure. Just look at this. It looks like we're going into Disney's Animal Kingdom or something around those lines. With the beautiful fountain in the middle. It looks very well kept. I don't want to put the name, but that says Entrance Forest. Haha. <laughs> Let's walk in. I can't believe you're walking in these like, wooden planks. Because right, right below me, there's like a big hike down. Two floors. Vamos, Lele. Walk. Let's see if you get a better view of the area. Isn't it beautiful? That's a better view of the area um, right now from a second floor. So you could see a little bit from an elevation how it looks like. And why I'm saying it's in like an amazing condition. So you don't see any artwork, any graffiti around, any nothing. This is literally untouched and I would say since the day it closed. Uh, let's see, I have never been through this section here, so. What? Oh my god. I'm totally gonna go down this section. Is this amazing? Okay, so I'm, there's like a thousand steps. I'm not, well, hundreds and hundreds of steps. I'm not even sure how I'm gonna go back up. Because I'm tired already. <laughs> but... I can go, totally go down. Mm. I got no problem going downhill. Oh, there's a map of the place. Okay, that's awesome. Let's see what this says. Okay, this is where we went in. That's where I parked. This is where I walked in. We walked all this. This was where I showed you those trolleys. That's that circle thing um, that I was showing you that we walked through. These are the stairs. Oh, there's a bunch of these gazebos around. Oh, there's a waterfall. I mean, Cascada is a waterfall in English. Oh, I had not seen that. Oh, and there's a panoramic place that you can see basically everything. Okay, it's going to be a long walk. Okay, so we've only walked from right here to right there. We still have to walk all that. That's gonna suck. Um, but let's get started. This is gonna be a lot of like uphill. I'm going uphill right now and downhill climb. These spots, as I just saw on the map, are called gazebos. I'm gonna walk through one of them just to see if it has any view to any place. But look at this, I'm like in the middle of the rainforest in Puerto Rico. This is a beautiful day. Or beautiful morning so I doubt any rain is gonna fall down on me but wow oh this is all corroded so I gotta be careful Lele be careful <laughs> but yeah this is just a mess nothing's really up kept in this area but the view though is pretty cool okay let's keep on going full little baby trees oh this is so cute Okay, I'm just going to walk uphill. So, walking uphill. In Puerto Rico, the temperature usually is around 80 degrees to 90 degrees. Over here, it's, I would say, 75 degrees self, um, Fahrenheit. Like, uh, maybe like 22, 23 Celsius. Which, I don't complain and honestly the plants that are here you don't see them in a lot of other places in puerto rico like look at this that's so pretty wow that's why i love enjoying these places by myself 
because I could stop whenever I want, however many times I want, and just enjoy the scenery, enjoy the plants. I'm a person that loves, I just get grounded in nature, and I find it so artistic. Look at all this, look at this tree, it has like, it's a world of its own. Look at the branches and the roots going down. Then all of these random plants making their way up until... Look at that. Like, I don't even know if you could see it well. But what a magnificent structure. But yeah, now do you understand why I was comparing this to Jurassic Park? Because it literally looks like Jurassic Park and if you've never been to a rainforest like this well welcome <laughs> this is an amazing place and welcome to Puerto Rico this I hope this makes you come visit wow these plants are just so cool I wish I could have most of these like at home look at they're all so similar but they're all so unique in their own way not all of them I'm just saying some of them. What the hell? Look at the floor. What's this grid pattern along? What is that? What is that? Does anyone know? If you work in construction, what's that for? Okay, so we're walking. The way is just getting narrower and narrower as we walk uphill in comparison to how wide it was in the back. So this is gazebo number six. Ew. I happen to find another human being in this place. Not only am I gonna run so fast, we're gonna probably start talking. We're gonna probably say, what was that? We're gonna probably start talking. We're gonna probably be friends because this is so big for someone to run me down this place. They're as crazy. As I can imagine them to be because for real I just gotta remind myself how to get back okay so there's two ways I could go extremely uphill or this way over here I'm just gonna go extremely uphill because I'm pretty sure the view is gonna be ten times as better hey lady I keep on walking mama this just gets steeper and steeper and steeper thank god i have my boots on thank god i love to hike Whew. but this is a workout like if you're not used to hiking if you're not used to going uphill you're gonna hate it you're absolutely gonna hate it and mostly i've been going downhill and uphill there's really no steady area that i've walked through maybe because oh i see what we're going to that that's where we're gonna stop it whoa okay let's keep going that's gonna be a long way okay i have my ears like radar because if someone comes in in a motorcycle, someone comes in in an ATV, someone comes in in an effing golf cart, I am gonna flip. Thing is, I can hide perfectly and stay quiet. This girl over here, yeah, good luck with that. Okay, so I made it to the top of the hill to only find a kid's park. This is absolutely not interesting for me, especially upon walking such a steep hill. Oh, there's cameras. I wonder, you know, if the water is working. Do you think the electricity is working here? And again, there's like this two-sided street that I have to pick what I'm going to do. And obviously, going to go uphill again and this one i think it's the steepest one so wish mama good luck 
I thought I was recording all this time, but basically that's the way downhill. You can't even, if I just get myself close, you can't even see the bottom of the hill where I turned right. Cause it's that steep. However, when I hit the top of the hill, I see a kid's park, another kid's park, like a little kid's place. And the most looked upon thing that I really, really wanted to reach, the top of that gazebo. So hardest thing right now for me is gonna be climbing another thousand footsteps. As I make my way up, I cannot stop but share with you the fresh passion fruits in the floor and those babies that are not matured yet. But ain't that beautiful? Eee, yummy! Who does not love passion fruit? Yeah, that's something I'm not going to open. But meanwhile, let me make my way up this mirror door. I don't even know how, um, how you call that in English, but that's how you call it in Spanish. Thank God it's all cement, because if this was wood, yeah. Oh my gosh, the higher you go, and the thing is, remember, we were walking from over there. That's where we started our whole climb. Right over there. Remember those? Yep, so now that's how far, like, let me just zoom in. Now I'm starting zooming out. And we can see how far along we want. Wow. You can't even see where I passed through. The book is phenomenal. Ow. Oh my god, I made it. <gasps> like, no, I don't have shills, but I have shills, if you know what I mean. This is outstanding. Okay, I'm going to shut up, stand right in the middle, and give you a 360-degree view of this magical place I call home. This is Puerto Rico. If you've never visited this island, enough talking. Wow. I'm just going to stop. That metal thing, screeching noise. I'm just being extra worry and extra aware of everything because I told you if I see another human being around here, I'm going to be scared shitless because there's really nowhere we can run, both of us, the other person and myself. But I'm just going to sit down, take it all in. Thank God for this amazing experience because this is unforgettable. I really don't know where this started or ended recording. However, I just made it down the Mirador thing or that place that you saw the 360 degree view i was saying that um up there the temperature i was saying that while i was walking the temperature is like 75 degrees which is a little bit cold for it to be puerto rico but um up there it's like 60 something deg um, degrees fahrenheit so it was really chilly like i was even record i tried to record my arms because all my hairs were like up because it was chilly. It was really chilly up there. Only thing that's going to suck right now is just going up and down, up and down the hills. Because it took me like, like an hour and a half. So, yeah. Just wish me luck. If I see something interesting, I'll definitely keep you posted. Okay, so my battery died. But your girl 
Gogi, she's always ready with a new battery. <laughs> Thank God I brought like three batteries because I just did not know how long this was going to take me. Well, this is a place I think I walked through, but I was just super interested in get reaching to the top. But look, there's like baby plants all around. Oh my God, and butterflies. Weirdest thing is that I heard a car around here. And I don't know if it's an echo because at the end of the day, we are in a mountain. There's like neighborhoods around this area. Um, I would hate passes through. The other thing is everything looks the same. So that's one way. That's another way. Where the hell did I come from? That's another thing. I found these beautiful, this plant. I don't know if it recorded itself or not, but or if I recorded this or not. But just thinking, I have no idea where I came from. I just want to go home right now. Lost in a forest. That's really not what you want to be remembered for. Really just don't recall. You see there's like skip marks around. Mm. If someone lives here. <laughs> if someone's staying here. If someone just sees me walking and I see them in a car, I'm going to flip. I didn't see these plants coming up. If you know the name of this plant, what? Look how it grows in between leaves and everything. Let me know. This is so beyond beautiful. Okay, so the way down is actually harder because I don't remember all the left and rights that I took. And I literally kept walking, going down this hill. And I saw a house that has a truck. And I have seen some skid marks on the floor. Um, so that kind of like panics me a little bit. Um, I'm gonna make my way down this hill. Hopefully, I get out as quickly as possible and stay safe. Look, you see the skid marks? I'm not kidding when I told you about that. I wasn't kidding. But, okay, I'll talk to you later. I have to, too much things in my hands today. It's a holiday. That's why I wanted to make myself, like, come to this park with really, um, until the until I reached the top or the end of the park just because I was that interested but um getting yourself lost in the woods it's scary because everything just looks the same every right and left turn looks exactly the same but yeah if you see me holding this it's my little furry souvenir I got myself I'm just gonna continue talking from the car uh so, yeah, I'll teach you while. So the reason I started recording myself again is because I saw the most beautiful sign in the world. Do you remember this? Because I do. And it was really just a breath of fresh air. Because now I'm going to go to the walk path. So definitely no other car obviously could pass through here. Or nothing unless someone is walking down or up. But that's why I have this girl with me. Because she my baby. She my boo. The two and a half to three hour hike. We're making it out. This one time there's no cars outside. Same old, same old entryway. With the lighting hitting different. And I'm safe and sound. Leaving this leaving oh she even remembers how to leave that's so cute we're leaving this place but man oh man i'm not gonna lie to you. okay guys lele i'm proud of you baby girl because we got lost like three times coming down but we finally obviously found our way back look at my cute baby i'm so proud of you baby thank you so much for keeping me safe 
hope you really enjoyed it. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, it's obviously going to be much longer than the last one because we just saw and went through so much. It was a good two and a half to three hour hike. And I hope you, now you can see why I was calling this place like Jurassic Park. It's because it really looks like a uh, Jurassic Park. But time out. There was a time where I took the wrong right turn happened that's exactly where I found this beautiful plant it has like pink flowers and like orange flowers but um yeah I saw this house in the right in the middle of this jungle and there was a white truck parked right outside and I was noticing like skid marks throughout the road I was coming down from and then I saw a cigarette but this cigarette looks like it was probably turned on less than a week ago because it wasn't affected by the weather it even had like a little bit of ash left in it so that took me by surprise it's crazy I got super wary of the surroundings because if that guy or if he them she whatever you want to call it came down with that truck or even heard me I am this one time I actually breaking an entry so um, I got really scared I was like whoa no 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 that was not the way I came up from so I try to just leave as quickly as possible that's why I did not want to record as much coming down cuz that really took me by surprise other than that I had an amazing hike it was super fulfilling I think my baby girl because now she's gonna be tired and she's gonna be such a good girl the whole day but yeah it was definitely an experience I would like to share with a friend perhaps in the future it's a place I would like to keep on coming to cuz it's still a gem it hasn't been loitered or like heavily discovered by other people so that's why I respect it but yeah this was the park I was talking about in my last video if you haven't seen my last video I went to this abandoned Spanish mansion now that one definitely was abandoned there was even a family living inside I would advise you to I tell you to watch that video if you really want to but this was a great experience especially because I got to record it and especially because it, as I was talking about it's a place that really hasn't been that meddled with since it recently closed and a lot of people don't even know it's closed so that's why I really enjoyed um, being there because it was like having that park or that place to myself without it actually with it being actually closed and perhaps abandoned I'd say with that being said I thank you for following me throughout today's journey Please comment below if you'd like to see anything in particular from Puerto Rico because if anything, I'm learning to discover my island. I moved back to Puerto Rico after 10 years of living in the United States. So it's it's been a it's been a process to get back used to being here. Um, but at the same time, it's been extremely fulfilling. It's been a great experience because I'm discovering and rediscovering new places I've always wanted to go to. Um, and not really depending on anyone, especially because I have this beautiful gem next to me. But it's it's been it's been awesome. So thank you so much. And nothing, guys. Peace and love from Timeless Look. We love y'all.